I don't know about you, but sometimes I just feel a little bit saucy. So today on Smoke It, Grill It, and Cook It, we're going to make a fantastic traditional sweet red barbecue sauce that goes well with chicken, pork, even for those of you who like to put barbecue sauce on your beef, it goes good with that too. But today's bonus day, so not only are you going to get John's red barbecue sauce, you're going to get John's Carolina Gold barbecue sauce as well, which is fantastic as kind of a change of pace for pork. And not only are you going to get those two barbecue sauces, but you're going to get John's tequila cocktail sauce, which is like something you've never tasted before. It is one of the best cocktail sauces you will ever try. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this episode of Smoke it, grill it, cook it. Okay, so we're ready to pull together our Carolina Gold barbecue sauce. You know, I love this sauce as an alternative to regular red barbecue sauce. So let's, uh, let's get going here. So I'm gonna crank up the stove here. I'm gonna start on about medium high heat. I'm going to start by putting in, um, this is half a cup of apple cider vinegar and about a quarter cup of water. So I'm going to pour that in and then I've got some honey, blackstrap, molasses, and maple syrup. It's three quarters of a cup of honey, a tablespoon of maple syrup, and two tablespoons of the blackstrap molasses. I'm going to say that kind of slow because I get fuddled up with that. Blackstrap, blackstrap molasses. So we're just going to kind of scrape the rest of it out of this container here. And what you want to do is you just want to bring this to a boil. You know, once it comes to a boil, you want to turn it down um, so it doesn't burn anything that's inside of there. So I'm just going to let this kind of do its thing for a few minutes. Um, it won't take long. Once it boils, you want to let it boil for about four to five minutes before you put your next ingredients in. All right, so we're over medium heat. Uh, we've just got a nice little medium rolling simmer going there. And we're gonna add our next ingredients. Uh, you're gonna add a cup of yellow mustard. Um, I like to use French's yellow mustard, just a standard. You don't need to use something fancy like Coleman's. Just a, a French's yellow mustard is perfect for this. Give that a little bit of a stir before our last two ingredients go in there. You wanna Keep it moving a little bit so it kind of smooths out a little bit in the cooking process. Now, next ingredient is half a cup of grated yellow onion. Now, take a box grater. I know this sounds crazy. Take a box grater instead of grating cheese, grate an onion. This is a half a cup was about half of an onion. So you want to put that in there. Don't grate it on the, hot, uh, on the largest grating setting like the setting that you would grate cheese on. Go to the next one down, kind of on the other side of the box grater. What that does is it almost liquefies an onion, right? That was really water, a lot of water content onion. So it took that onion and kind of grated the moisture out of the onion and created almost like a little paste, right? The last step, I've got some spices here. If I told you what they were, I'd have to kill you. No, really, I'm going to tell you because that's the whole purpose of what we're doing here. Put that in the sink. So it's a teaspoon of thyme, half a teaspoon of white pepper, a half a teaspoon of kosher salt, one teaspoon of crushed red pepper, and then the secret ingredient to this is a red pepper flake. No, I take that back. I already told you red pepper flake. The secret to this is a pinch of nutmeg. The nutmeg adds a little bit of earthiness to this sauce. So it's it's uh, got a really kind of one of those, mm, that's good, I don't really know what it is, but that's really, really good. So what you're gonna do now is the sauce is finished, right? All I wanna do now is move it around a little bit. I wanna bring it up to a, a simmering boil, let it go for about two minutes on that simmering boil, and then it is done. Now, sometimes you may have a few little lumpy things in there, like the mustard may 
be a little bit lumpy and not broken up. So you may have to take a whisk, a wire whisk, and just whisk it up so all that takes care of itself. But usually when you simmer it lowly for about two minutes, everything is perfect. You want a nice, smooth, rich, golden consistency. So look at that. It's just kind of a golden brown. Again, this is fantastic. I've had it on chicken, but I really like it on pork just for something different. So if you want to try something that's a little bit outside of the box, I recommend going with the Carolina Gold Sauce. All right, so now we're going to make our red barbecue sauce, our standard, sweet, flavorful John's barbecue sauce. So what I've done is I've taken a cup of light brown sugar, packed, light brown, not dark brown, a cup of apple cider vinegar and a quarter cup of Worcestershire sauce and I've brought that to a boil. So now that I've got it at a boil I'm gonna do something a little bit radical. I'm gonna turn off the heat and I'm gonna add my spices and then I'm gonna let it sit for 15 minutes. So let me add my spices here my spices consist of a tablespoon each of garlic powder and chili powder, and then a teaspoon each of onion powder, cumin, fine black pepper, and my secret ingredient. You know, I grew up in Maryland, spent 18 years of my life there, love Maryland, my sister still lives there. And you didn't do anything unless it had Old Bay associated with it. So I have incorporated a teaspoon of Old Bay into my barbecue sauce. If you've not tried Old Bay, you don't know what you're missing. You need to try it. But we're gonna just blend that up and then we're gonna let it sit for 15 minutes and not touch it. Well, we might look at it, stir it. Cover it, sit, nothing, 15, C in 15. All right, so we have waited our 15 minutes. Smells fantastic. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add two thirds a cup of maple syrup. Now I, I really recommend not skimping on the maple syrup here. Actually got that maple syrup from a, a, an auction uh, at the New York State Cemetery Association meeting. Uh, I want a big jug of maple syrup. I was so excited. Of course, I spent like, you know, 50 bucks or something like that to get it. And then, anyway, so, uh, and then two cups of ketchup. Again, I don't like to skimp. I'm not going to use a store-bought brand. I'm not even going to use Hunt's. I told you I lived in Maryland, but I was born in Pittsburgh, so I'm going to stick with uh, good old Heinz ketchup. I'm just going to kind of stir this together. Now, here's the trick. This is going to now cook for 30 minutes. You want to simmer it uncovered, but you don't want it to boil. So I've got this on low, and it's just going to kind of take its time getting up to a nice simmer, but I do not want it to boil. So you just want to simmer this on a low heat, for about 30 minutes. It's nice and thick. Mm, love that flavor. Just a fantastic depth of flavor. It's not like your Sweet Baby Ray's or something like that that you can buy in the grocery store. This just has a, a lot more flavor than that. So, after 30 minutes, this sucker's done. Just make sure you don't boil it. That's the key. Don't boil it. After 30 minutes, your red barbecue sauce, John's barbecue sauce, is done. Pretty simple. So the last sauce we're going to make today is my tequila cocktail sauce. Again, I grew up in Maryland. I love seafood. And let me tell you, this cocktail sauce Shrimp are just going to say, oh, please make sure you drag me through this sauce before you consume me. So what I started with was three cups of ketchup. Again, I like to use Heinz. Uh, I don't like to go for the cheap stuff. 
I'm gonna add three cups of chili sauce. Heinz also makes a chili sauce. It is right next to the ketchup in your grocery store. So I'm gonna add three cups of that. I'm then going to add one cup of horseradish sauce, prepared horseradish. It's not the freshly grated because the taste is much different. You want the prepared horseradish, horse, horseradish, horseradish. It's hard to say. This is also hard to say. Worcestershire, 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 Worcestershire sauce. So I got half a cup of Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce. I don't know if it's harder to say it or spell it. I think whoever invented it needed to call it something different. I guess it was made in maybe Worcestershire, England or something. I don't know. Anyway, uh, two tablespoons of hot sauce. I like to use uh, Louisiana hot sauce. Um, Frank's would be my next option. Um, and then I'm going to give this a little bit of a stir here. And then I'm going to add a cup of tequila. And we're going to blend this all up. Maybe just a pinch of salt. Gotta have salt with your tequila, right? Pinch of pepper. We're gonna blend this all up. Some people like to add a squeeze of lemon to it. I don't do that initially because some people like to add lemon to their shrimp. Uh, they wanna squeeze lemon on the shrimp and then drag it in here. And that's too lemony um, for me. So I just go with uh, adding the lemon later. But you can, if you wanna add a lemon, you don't want any more than about a half a lemon squeezed in here. Um, it makes it a little bit too runny. This is not a thick, gloopy sauce. I don't know if you can kind of see the, it's thick, but it's not, uh, I'm not, it's, it's, I could drink it out of a straw. I'd have to suck really hard, but anyway, that's all she wrote for the tequila cocktail sauce. It's delicious. I don't have a spoon handy, so I'm just gonna dip a pinky, it's clean. It's COVID free. Mm -mm -mm. You would think that the tequila make it taste funny, but it doesn't. You can't really, you can just taste it. Does that make sense? You can just taste the tequila. I love it. I love to drag my shrimp through it. Hope you're having a wonderful day. See you soon on Smoke It, Grill It, and Cook It.